Hello, and welcome to ArchBase Explain. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to use the Corona Render Override material for your projects. Using a clay material is very useful when we are setting up our initial lighting. To enable and configure the material override, let's press this icon or F10 on our keyboard to access the render setup window. After this, select the Scene tab and in the general settings, we can find the renders override section. To activate it, we need to press the material override checkbox. If you already have a material created, you can drag it from the material editor to the num button. And if you don't have a material created, press the num button and select a Corona physical material or Corona legacy material. Then press the OK button to confirm the selection. In the interactive render, we can see how the material is applied to all the objects in our scene. But a problem we have is that this material is also applied to the windows, obstructing the sun and the ambient light. To solve this issue, we can press the Preserve button and in the new screen, we can select the materials we want to preserve. To exclude the objects with glass material, we need to select the Preserve glass material. We can see how all the objects with glass material are excluded from the material override. This section also allows us to preserve the displacement, bump, opacity, or light material by selecting the corresponding checkbox. If we want to exclude a specific objects, we have two options. For example, if we select the table and press the button with the plus symbol, we can see how that object is excluded from the render override and the button on the side changes, indicating how many objects are excluded. Another option is to press the Exclude Objects button to open the Exclude Include screen. On the left side, we can see all the objects in our scene. If we select some of the objects and press the button with the arrows to the right, we will move the objects to the Include Exclude area. In the upper part, we have a search bar if we know the name of the object, and in the lower part, we can see and select the selection set. Once we select all our objects, we can press the OK button to confirm the selection. We can see how the selected objects are excluded from the override material. Another option we have with the Include Exclude is to change the selection to Include. If we do this, we can see how the material override is applied only to the selected objects. To finalize, we're going to do a small adjustment to our material to reduce the burnout areas and to add an occlusion to the edges. We're going to press M on our keyboard to open the material editor. Then drag the material from the material override section to the material editor. In this step, it's really important to select instance so that all the changes that we make in the material editor are reflected in the render. The first thing we're going to do is to add an ambient occlusion to our diffuse. To do this, we have several options, but the one I use the most is to drag the base color node or right click on the slate material, then select maps, Corona, Corona AO. For this tutorial, I will not go into details about this material. For that, I'm going to create a specific tutorial for the Corona AO. The occlude color is the color or texture that is generated where the objects are really close to each other. For this parameter, we're going to change the color to a dark gray, for example, a value of 100. The unocclude color defines the color of the objects without occlusion. For this, we're going to use a light gray color, for example, a value of 185. Finally, we're going to change the maximum distance with this parameter, we can adjust the intensity of the occlusion. For this project, we're going to use a value close to 15. With these changes, we can see how the lines are more defined and we have less burnout in our image. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.